On the weather now with Aaron Mayowski and boy, oh boy, oh boy, Mother Nature just uh, throwing it throwing it at us. Yeah, for sure. This weekend you saw some snow coming down on the mountain passes. Everyone excited getting that nice refresher, but boy, now it's turning to some rain up in the high country. Temperatures are still right around 32 to 35 degrees, but US 2 Stevens Pass is closed. We're waiting for word on that. We're also seeing the same situation at Snoqualmie Pass where crews are evaluating the avalanche danger and threat. So we do have this warning up today. You can't get across uh, the passes. We'll wait to hear more on that as to when they possibly could open. Open. As we look downtown at the waterfront, not so pretty, but 49 degrees. We're warmer than average with this atmospheric river pushing on in, and that plume of moisture keeps hitting the Rose City, the Emerald City, Tacoma, Centralia, the valleys, Chehalis, those areas getting hit pretty hard up in the foothills of the Cascades as well. Cedro Woolley now in on the action with some heavier downpours and showers. We'll continue to, of course, watch this as we move through the day, but this is a look at 11 a.m. Just a couple hours from now, we're getting another good batch of rain heavy at times, pushing into the foothills and up over the Cascades. We could see upwards of an uh, inch and a half to two, three inches over the Cascades by the time this is all said and done. It does let up, though, as we get to Tuesday. We start to see some uh, of the sky calm down into scattered showers instead of those heavy downpours. But we will keep the alerts up for our Monday and our Tuesday and start to drop them as we get to Wednesday. Our area rivers are going to be really seeing the pressure on them and getting up towards their banks and cresting some of them. The Skokomish and the Snoqualmie is what we're watching for tonight. Once we get past that, more traditional weather is on the way with showers and sun breaks and maybe some pops of some sunshine in between. Okay, it's been a tough go of it this morning. We're going to toss it over to Adam Gerke. He's going to give us the very latest on the happenings on the traffic.